Chat GPT, I have some legal questions for you today. Of course, I'll do my best to help you with your legal questions. What would you like to know? I know this guy who was arrested in the state of Louisiana. He was in a library and the librarian thought he was strange or suspicious. So she called the cops on him. When the cops arrived, they asked for his ID and he didn't give his ID. Is this illegal? Do not give your ID in the state of Louisiana if you are not suspected of a crime. In the state of Louisiana, there is no general legal obligation for a person to carry identification or to produce it to a police officer. However, if a person is arrested, they are required to provide their name, address, and date of birth to the officer. Refusing to provide identifying information in this situation could be considered obstruction of justice and may result in additional charges. It's important to note that if a police officer has reasonable suspicion or probable cause to believe that a person has committed or is about to commit a crime, the officer may detain that person for a brief period of time in order to investigate the situation further. During this investigation, an officer may ask for identification and other information to verify the person's identity. Thank you, the man was arrested for no crime other than not providing ID. Was this an unlawful arrest? If a person is arrested for refusing to provide identification when they are not suspected of having committed a crime, it may be considered an unlawful arrest. This is because the police must have either a warrant or probable cause to arrest him. And not having identification or refusing to provide identification alone would not typically constitute probable cause for an arrest. It's important to note that the situation you described where the librarian called the police because she thought the person was strange or suspicious and the officer subsequently arrested the person for failing to provide identification would likely not be a lawful arrest. It's also worth noting that if the arrest was unlawful, the individual may have Grounds for a civil rights lawsuit against the police department and or the city. The best way to know if the arrest was lawful or not is to have a lawyer review the case and the arrest report. Thank you. He was ultimately sentenced to 30 days in jail because the judge didn't like him or something. If a person is sentenced to jail time due to a dislike of the individual by a judge, it would be considered a gross violation of judicial ethics and would be a form of misconduct. It's important to note that a judge's job is to be impartial and to base their decisions on the evidence and the laws. If a judge is basing their decisions on personal basis or animosities, it would be a serious violation of the judicial code of conduct. It's worth noting that if an individual feels that they have been unjustly sentenced, they have the right to appeal their case. An attorney can help them navigate the appeals process and advocate for them in court. It's also worth noting that if the individual has been treated unfairly due to abuse or misconduct of the judge, they may have grounds for a civil rights lawsuit. It is best to have a lawyer review the case and the sentencing to know if there is any legal remedy. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up and subscribe.